Hey Loons fans, I'm Greg Folsom, orthopedic surgeon at Alina Health Orthopedics and one of the team physicians for your Minnesota United. Just about everyone's daily routine has changed in some way over the past few months and soccer players are no exception. It is important to keep soccer skills sharp and fitness levels high in anticipation of your return to the field. Plus, getting up to move is a great break from online school or work. With this in mind, we'd like to share a short exercise routine. Some exercises will emphasize soccer skills and others are done for strengthening and injury prevention purposes. We've modified this routine so that it can be done in a confined space and without special equipment. I'm going to need some help demonstrating, so let's see if we can get a hold of Loon's goalkeeper, Tyler Miller. Hey, Doc. How's it going? Good, Tyler. How about you? I'm good. I was just in the middle of making something. What's for breakfast? Uh, you know, a little, little scrambled eggs, some peppers, and a coffee. Um, how are you doing? How are you holding up? Pretty good under the under the circumstances. Ready to get to work and get a little workout in this morning? I am. I need I need a workout, so let's do it. Good. I think there's some uh, other soccer players in town that would like to see what you guys were up to, so let's get to work. Let's do it. Okay, Tyler. Let's start with a two-minute warm-up. Uh, first minute. Uh, do some work with the ball, just 30 seconds of toe taps, and then 30 seconds of foundations. Let's do it. Again, all these exercises are just to get the blood flowing and allow the athlete to warm up, and get ready for the next phase of training. See the dogs joining in? Yeah. It's an important right part here. of the workout. 30 seconds? Time. Time. Now right to foundations? Right to foundations. The warm-up's important. Allows the athlete to get prepared for the rest of the training session. This is just getting the heart rate up a little bit, getting the muscles warm. And time. Next, uh, next exercise will be uh, a hip in and hip out. Uh, so these can be done walking. Um, you can go ahead and start with the, the hip out. So notice how it keeps the, uh, the pelvis um, and core centered right over the leg he's standing on. And this is the first of many exercises that we will uh, emphasize not letting the knee that's on the um, ground buckle inward. You don't want the knee to buckle inward. So a lot of these exercises are really aimed at that principle. Uh, this is not a particularly difficult exercise uh, in and of itself, uh, but very important in terms of technique. And you can transition to the hip in now. Same technique for the hip in, keeping the entire body in line, not letting the knee buckle in, and engaging the core muscles and the hip muscles for a nice smooth movement. And time. All right, Doc, what do we got next? Okay, so now that we're warmed up, we get into the, the strengthening and the plyometrics. So we'll start with some lunges, one minute okay. of lunges. All right, I'll start with alternating then. What's the big focus I want to have while I'm doing these here? Really good for strengthening the, the quads, but again, important to not let that knee buckle inward. We're working on uh, neuromuscular control of the entire uh, core. You want to make sure that front knee does not uh, advance in front of your, your toes. You want to still be able to see your toes as you lunge. And again, controlled movement, smooth and steady movement is much more important than a high number of repetitions. And that's it. Awesome. It really gets my, uh, my quads firing. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely strengthens the quads probably more than anything else. 
What's next on our workout plan? Uh, planks, side planks. You're gonna raise and lower the hip 30 seconds um, each side. So I'm here? Yep. Yeah, and go ahead and bridge up on, uh, yeah, so that's starting position, perfect. And then just lower the, the hips down. You can lower them all the way down and touch the ground and back up and perfect. And again, the key here is just to uh, maintain that uh, proper position where the starting position where the body is essentially in a straight line, shoulders right above the elbow. I'm surprised the dog isn't helping more on this exercise. He's gotten tired. He's got his blanket and he just wants and to then, sit there. Uh, right. Switch sides. So that's good, switch sides. You get 30 seconds on the other side. You would think the dog would want to wrestle around while I'm on the ground, but no. He likes to steal the ball whenever he can. It's his, it's his favorite sport. Okay, sounds like you're tired, so that's probably enough of that. Getting there. Whew. All right. And now that we're done with the planks, we'll move ahead into a uh, single leg stance with uh, simulating throwing a ball. Again, this is a, a good balance exercise. You're balancing on one leg, weight centered over the ball of the foot, 30 seconds on each side for a total of one minute. Gotta work on my lefty throws as well. Right, see, uh, balance. It's Always harder than it looks. So on this one, I'm rotating after every few throws, or? Yeah, I'd say, you know, again, it's uh, only 30 seconds um, on each side. So you can you can do 10 repetitions if you feel like you're really getting tired and then switch sides or do all 30 seconds on one, all on the other. And what, what muscles do, should I be activating or feeling like I'm activating in this exercise here? I mean, you'll feel it a little bit in in the uh, core for sure. You might feel it in your calves a little bit if you kind of raise up on that on um, uh, one leg. Um, you can certainly feel it engaged there a little bit. But again, it's mostly about uh, core and hip muscle control. Okay. Perfect. Next is uh, lateral hops, and then okay. follow that up with forward and backward hops. So again, these are just thirty seconds each. And again, kind of, you can go ahead and start. Looks easy, uh, but again, the key here is form. We want to focus on form. I would go a little slower even, kind of slow it down a little bit. Yeah, and really focus on the landing. You want to keep the knees soft um, and really just focus on body position. Again, not letting those knees buckle inward. And again, the. The technique is the key in order to really maximize the, the benefit that you get in terms of the strengthening, but as well as injury prevention. So that's good on the side to side, and now you can do some forward and back. And again, it's the same idea here, just nice soft landings. You're trying to teach your body and teach your knees how to behave, even when you're not thinking about it. Hopefully my downstairs neighbors don't mind a little ruckus. That's right. And as you really progress through these, there's a, a progression to even doing single leg, both side to side and front to back. That obviously is a little harder. And time. All right, so we got soul rolls to push. Do some uh, ball skills with some soul roll to push, 30 seconds on each side. And notice some of this skill work is a little more difficult now that the muscles are tired. It's important for even goalkeepers to be able to use their feet. So no matter your position, I think this is a great drill that everyone can do while they're at home. All right, let's finish up the workout with a little juggling now. Hopefully I don't hit the TV. <laughs> right. Juggling is very important foot skill, as Tyler will attest. 
Hopefully the parents are okay with their kids kicking the ball in the house. Yeah, you've uh, done well. No broken TV yet, huh? <laughs> I've broken plenty of things growing up that my parents have gotten upset about. <laughs> Man, Doc, that was quite the workout. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, get a lot of work in in a short amount of time for sure. Really, it goes to show that in 10 minutes you can get a good workout and still feel like you're healthy. Thanks for taking the time to run through that with us. Yeah, Doc, thank you for taking me through that. Hopefully you guys enjoy that at home. A big thank you to all the healthcare workers everywhere and to our team at Alina Health. Stay safe, and we really hope to see you soon at Allianz Field.